All right, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is a pretty much a little run through of how to actually change your start bar text. As you see down here, I have uh, Kilgore 333 instead of the generic start text down at the bottom, and I'm actually going to show you how to t uh, to uh, change that. Now <clears throat> we need a file called resourcehacker.exe, so we're gonna we're gonna just get that out of the way now, and we're gonna go search for resource hacker. And uh, the very first link you see here, this angusj.com slash resource hacker, that's where we're going to go. I'll just enter this real quick. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to scroll down until we find two links with uh, server servers, uh, the Europe and Australia. I would just normally download this uh, from Australia. It, I guess it just seems faster. Faster. <clears throat> but uh, once we have that, we'll, um, we'll come back to our desktop and we'll extract uh, the resource hacker from the zip file which I have already right here so I can just move that back up there now <clears throat> what you need to do now once you have your program we need um, uh, our explorer.exe from our C, C drive uh, windows folder so we'll just take this copy and paste it onto the desktop which I've already done and uh, <clears throat> I've actually posted it right here we don't need this anymore except for when we're uh, replacing our file now, one thing I really ex I explicitly tell you to back up this Explorer file for any reason that you feel you might mess it up, even if you are a pro at this, it's always a good thing to back it up, just in case. <clears throat> but once we've um, we've ex uh, this is basically a backup, and my original Explorer is in there. I'm not even I'm not actually even using the Explorer. I'm gonna rename it, so we'll just name this. Reconbar.exe, and we'll open up our resource hacker. <clears throat> we'll open up our Reconbar.exe, and this basically is a really quick program. It'll show you all of the things that exist in this exe, uh, exe file, and we really don't have to worry about anything but the string table. We're just going to click on the string table folder, and we're going to come down to the 37. We'll click on this, which holds the start bar text. Um, and we can really just change this to whatever we want. We're not limited to the five characters, as you saw at the bottom. We're not limited to spaces. We're not limited to anything. You can put whatever you want. Recon networks. And we'll um, once we have what we want to put in our uh, start bar, we'll compile the script, and we'll click uh, File, Save As. We're actually going to go find our recon bar.exe. Now, if you were to save this a different, you know, if if you were opening the original EXE or Explorer, you would um, <clears throat> make sure that you always have .exe at the very end. If you don't, then it will not give it a file extension, so you'll have to rename it yourself. But make just to make sure, just put .exe at the end. Click save. We'll replace it. And now that we're done with that, um, we're going to go to our our uh, start bar and we'll hit run. And we'll uh, open up our regedit. So just type regedit, R R E G E D I T. I'm gonna click OK, and it'll bring up our regedit. <clears throat> now there's a certain folder path you'll need to follow. We'll start off by going into the H key local key or local machine. We'll come all the way down until we find Microsoft. And once we get down to here, I think it's uh, Windows NT. You'll uh, see it down here, Windows NT. And once we get to the bottom of this, it'll be a Windows Logon, in which we'll um, we'll have the menu of what we need to edit. We'll just scroll down, down this. Once we make sure that you have a Win Logon selected, you'll click uh, Shell. You'll just double click it and edit to uh, just reconbar.exe or whatever you named your Explorer file. Now make sure that this um, this recon bar or whatever you saved it as is in your Windows folder. If it isn't, when you restart your computer, you'll turn up with nothing but a blank screen. Granted, you'll still have your wallpaper, but you will not have any icons or a start bar or anything to click on. So I'm just going to put that back. Um, you pretty much you're pretty much done once you've clicked OK. You all you really have to do is um, <clears throat> click OK and uh, save it. Restart your computer, and when it comes back, you'll have your text at the bottom of the screen. If you're using a program like Window Blinds or anything like that, which changes the interface of your program, it will not work. Window Blinds was um, was designed for the for a user or or a designer to actually 
go over every image for that skin so if you're using um, <clears throat> uh, window blinds or anything like that it, it, it won't show up so you're not you're not really changing anything if you show up or accept a couple of uh, words in a file you know you pretty much get what I'm saying but uh, let's say that um, I need to go over this as well you're doing this on your own I'm pretty sure I've mentioned that if not um, you're doing this on your own free will so you're taking the risk of ruining not really ruining your computer but you know preventing any icons or anything showing up but let's just say that that does happen we're going to uh, this the way to put everything back would be to go to control alt delete and bring up your Windows task manager and we'll click file new task and make sure that you put regedit right back in there we'll click OK and it'll bring up your registry editor and um, just to be sure that everything comes back when you restart again just put explorer.exe there and everything will be fine you'll still have your your old text and all that uh, everything will be back and um, it's not broken anymore so you can actually see all of your icons in your main menu and that really just about wraps it up um, thanks for watching this tutorial if you have any questions about this tutorial or any other tutorial you see just drop us a line at uh, reconnetworks.com. Alright, thanks. Thanks for watching this tutorial.